Yep. Boy, come here. Baby. Okay. Hmm? You know everything my father is doing is geared towards making you a better person of great influence. Right. Yes. And anything better than money is more money. Right. Yes. So that you can climb higher. I'll, I'll try my, my best to make him happy. But your dad can be difficult sometimes, you know? It's okay, I'll do my best. Okay. You be good, be a good boy, and make sure you guide my territory. <laughs> my mother's a good boy. Listen, I have to run along. Um, the meeting with the governor is a long one, so I'll be back tomorrow. No problem. I'll come around if necessary. That's okay. fine. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Mm. You take care. Hey, okay. I have to go. You'll be good. Hmm? See, take care of your mom. All right? Will you? All right. Mm. Bye. All right. Let's go. Come on, babe. Come on. <laughs> I will send you the room number, okay? That's my girl. Mm. Give me a kiss. Mm. <laughs> All right. I'll see you there. Bye. Come on, man. What would that look? We are out here to enjoy ourselves, okay? And to take advantage already. So, drink up. Basil, um, I apologize for my silence. I'm just, uh, I'm just a bit worried, you know? I've got, I've got so much on my mind and I'm afraid I, I, I don't want my family to tear apart. I understand you, bro. Just calm down, okay? Everything will take shape. Yeah, sooner or later, everything will take shape, okay? What do you think, Father? Everybody has a price. But I don't trust him. Brother, you don't like him. Exactly. You don't need to dislike him. He's our tool. A good workman must not quarrel with his tool. But father, why why did he come with a company if he really trusts us? That should be the least of your problem. You just use him for politics, and that is it. The governor is here. Oh. Let's go meet him. Very stable and work people. Meet the number one citizen of our dear state. His Excellency, Dr. Osinaka Mbadunuji. Your Excellency, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. I've heard so much about you. Please sit down. Thank you, Excellency. 
You look good and reserved. I hope your charming smiles and comportment will not be a decoy. Um, Your Excellency, I'm just being myself. Good. <laughs> you know, politics is a big business. And the political sphere is entirely a different world altogether. Can you swim the tide? Your Excellency, I think uh, Barrister Mokedu will make a wonderful special assistant to the party and also pass for the Secretary to the state government after the elections. That's good. I am glad to hear that. But you know, such appointment requires a lot of hard work. It's multiple tasking. And it demands someone with high flexibility. Your Excellency, I think Barrister Wokedu is equal to the challenge, considering the antecedent of his uh, achievement. I hope you consider giving him your endorsement. Hmm. Hmm. Keep your nose clean, boy. The job is yours. Your Excellency, you don't necessarily need to bother about his uh, allegiance. He's a very terrible boy. A loyalist, I must say. That's all I want to hear. But you have to play your card well. And if you do, from glory to glory, you will rise to the office of the governor of the state. <laughs> um. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. I'll be very delighted to serve the state sometime in the future, Your Excellency. That's good. That's all right. Mr. Edward, Your Excellency, please send him in. Thank you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, sir. Speaking to the next governor of the state. By the grace of God! <laughs> Did you hear him? Yeah! Bro! Don't forget me. Whoa! Damn, bro! Sound like a done deal! Congratulations to the next SSG of the state! <laughs> I must tell you, bro. Mm. It's not done until it's done. This has always been the plan. Eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. Yeah. You're damn right, bro. <laughs> yeah, you see? Perfect life. Perfect wife. You got a ward in your hands, bro. Damn, I envy you. <laughs> Basil, you can be like me. You can have the same thing. Life is what you make of it. Yeah. No. My case is different. I have worked so hard, struggled to get the accolades and congratulations, but to no avail. I mean, people don't even see me the way they see you. You're like a god in human form. Yes, you are. Basil, you're wrong. Listen, maybe you've been playing the game, but not by the rules. Whatever we do in life, we do it to make positive results. You have to keep pushing, bro. Listen, life is not fair. Life is not fair. 
But you have to keep pushing. You have to be consistent. <laughs> Congratulations. Everything about your success story is happening so fast. But be careful while climbing the ladder because you may miss your steps, fall, and break your bones. I may be working with you for assistance. Just know I don't like you. Bro, she seems to be the only one immune of your Sussex charm. <laughs> Don't mind Imelda, she's just being a child. My love. Jesus Christ! How did you get in here? As you know, I have my way around anything. Whatever I want, I know how to get it. What are you doing here, Vicentia? Well, I thought we might just have another fun weekend. Drive me to your hotel. Or are you not happy to see me? <laughs> me happy to see you? God forbid! How the hell did you know I was here? Oh, Lois. She told me you had an appointment with the governor and her father. So I thought to, you know, be the first to congratulate you with a kiss before the press release. And also, this weekend is going to be just perfect for you and I. <laughs> Avalon. Be a gentleman. Listen, I did not tell Lois about us. But hey, hey, listen to me. There is no us. Now you need to leave. Get out. How can you say there is no us? When I am with your baby, Evelyn, we are meant to be together. <laughs> All right. It's time to throw you out. Get off the car! Ah! Get out! Get out of my car! Ah! What the hell is wrong with you? Avalon, you made this violent move first. I promise you, you will regret it. Ow! Ow! Ah. This girl is a witch. Jesus. That's good. I saw how you forcefully dragged that lady out of your car. Doesn't mean you don't know how to treat a woman. 
Excuse me? Maybe one of your numerous girlfriends came and boom, business gone wrong. And you drove her out of your car. Excuse me? Oh! Behold her, her claws on your skin! Oh. Imelda, I'm not ready for your shenanigans right now. I'm not ready for your troubles. Do you understand? You have enough troubles already. I need to get all of these things handled once and for all. I need to get my hands on anything to take Vicentia out of my life and that of my family. I would rather act fast to bring her down before she brings me down. So I wrote it all down, it will be clear. If you go through it now, you'll see that I made it easier for you to understand. Mm -hmm. Do you like this? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'll write it down. Okay. And this, uh, please excuse me, my phone. Hi, babe. You're not home? Hi, honey. Are you home? Yeah, but you should be home. At least to know how my meeting went with the governor. I am so sorry, honey, but I had this business, emergency business meeting with uh, Vicentia and I needed to attend to it. Vicentia again? But babe, I thought we agreed the business ends immediately. Yes, I know. But I'm sorry. It's just that she has paid me upfront for the business contracts. And I need to deliver, you know, so that I can search for other alternative um, engagements. You know what, babe? Just come back home safe, okay? I'm home. Yeah, I'll just open the door with the spare. It's okay. Thank you. You too. Be good. <sighs> that was my husband. It's fine. Take your time. Okay. All right. I would have to go to the mall down the road. I need to get something. Okay, that's fine then. Nice, I love it. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate <laughs> this. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank See you. you. All right. I'll just round it's up and fine. then leave.
What? What? What the hell is this? I knew you would call. Endeavor to see me at once. Else, the next collection of pictures will be sent directly to your wife's one. You know how she would feel when I decide to make the game go dirty. Listen, I call the shots now. So obey the address given to you. You come, that I may give you the rudiments on how this is going to work. Vin, what part of stay away from my family? Don't you understand? You don't tell me what to do, all right? In this meeting, I am the host. So let's get down to it. For now. Here is a list of how you're going to be making out time for your wife and your pretty mistress. You see, I am not selfish after all. I am willing to share you with her, at least for now, until when I am ready to have you all to myself. And what makes you think I'm ready to play your little games and your little gimmicks? You want to run your political career on a clean slate. But you see, nobody has a clean slate. The past has its way of playing the French visitor. My husband. <laughs> How did those pictures get into my house? <laughs> Simple. I have the whole world in my palms. Hold on. How the hell did you get the key to my house? <laughs> hmm. 
This tastes really amazing. Oh God, thank you. You know, I have plans of mm. opening a beverage industry. Okay. Hmm. And I can tell that for a fact, you will be the best to manage it. You are such an amazing person. You know, ever since you came into my life, you've given me this energy. You've given me this courage to do more, to become better. Thank you, Vicentia. What are friends for? You know, you're more than a friend and a boss. Oh, <laughs> oh please. Come on, get me more of it. In fact, package some. I'd love to put it in my fridge and drink at fuel. I'm on it. <laughs> Thank I you. am on it. Just give me a minute, please. <laughs> So you see, I accept it when you call me a she-devil because the devil has a way to always appear even closer and more friendly than a friend. Vin, do you have any idea I can press charges on you? I can sue you for trespass, do you know that? Fine, that's not bad, but I will appear in court to tender exhibit that you slept with me, got me pregnant, and denied the baby and I. Guess what? That will shatter your political dreams because your legal practice will come to an end. Your license of practice will be seized due to an exhibition of a questionable character. So see you in court. Mr. Avalon. No kid. Vin, why are you doing this? You cannot have a one night stand with me. and abandon me and the baby. Hell has no fear compared to that of a scorned woman. Have a nice day, Barrister. I wonder why Tasha is delaying on getting me facts and evidences. I need to nail these bastards and roast them in court.
Hey, babe. Baby, what are you doing? Uh, just trying to burn some documents, old files at the office. I mean, it's taking all the space. Yeah. Some of these particles looks like pictures. Um, yeah. Exhibits. Picture evidence. They were tendered in court, so I'll just try to clear, you know, my office. It's taking too much space. Yeah. Okay. Once you're done, you come inside, okay? I want to cuddle with you. Alright. We need strong evidence to nail Vicentia on court. Boss, I am really trying my best. Of course I am. We are on it. Um, have you been able to tell your wife about it? Not yet. What are you waiting for? I don't know. I guess I, I lack the courage to do so. <sighs> it's just crazy. Boss, you need to open up to your wife. You need to tell her you do not want to allow her to find out herself. Because you can't be able to face her rot if she does that. I'll try. Hopefully today. You know, apart from being my boss, you are my friend. And I want to let you know that I will be by your side till we get to the end of all this. Okay? Thank you. Today. I'll walk in there and tell her everything. I'd rather face the consequences than dance on the edge of a razor blade. Hey, babe, I'm home. Hi. Hey. Hello, handsome. Hi, baby. Mm. How are you? I'm good. I've missed you. I know you've missed me, and I've missed you too. Um, oh, okay. Let me see. Come on. Hello. What's happening? Where's my son? Ah, he went on a play Are you okay? I'm fine. What do you think? You're acting different. Really? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Just ignore the fact. Alright. Come on. Trying to do something crazy. Hello. What are you trying to do? Ow! Hey! <laughs> Sorry. But this is yours if you touch it. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you soon. Why am I like this? Oh, okay, baby. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, hey. Yes. What are you doing? Oh, my leg hurts. Oh, God. Oh, God. Babe. Hey. Not now. What are you doing, babe? I'm not doing it. 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 Babe, babe, listen. What is it? We, we need to slow down. Okay, babe. We need to talk. I have, I have something to tell you. Baby, there's wait, wait, nothing I, I have a confession to no, make. No, baby, just leave babe, the freaking... Babe, wait, wait, wait. Mm. 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 Babe, this before. Explain what? Babe, listen, it's not what you think. I it's can... not what I think? Really? I don't know you're cheating on me! No, I am not cheating on you. I'm trying to explain to you, okay? I can... What is there to explain? That you're... Okay, now it makes sense. The late night phone calls, 
the text messages from the office. Babe, can I explain to you? Are you cheating on me with your sadness? No, I am not. I'm trying to explain to you. What is there to explain, Dad? I need to explain. I just told you. I don't want to listen to any explanation. I told you I have a confession to make. So what? You have a confession to make? Then what about the messages I'm seeing on your phone? How do you explain that? Give me give me a chance to explain to you what. <laughs> Babe, so, I need to tell you what happened. Avalon, I cannot believe you can do this to me and our family. This is so sad. This is really, really not it. You know what? You need to leave. Really? You, yes, you need to leave. Babe, this house was built by my father. So Avalon, you need to leave. I literally just told you I have a confession to Avalon, make. Avalon, get out. Get out of this house. Boys, you can't do this to me. You I are just... great. You do this to our family. You do this to me. I have loved you. Is there anything that I have not provided? Is there anything that I'm not doing as a good wife? Boys, I'm not... Avalon, I treated you fine. I just told you I have a... Shh. Avalon, please. Babe, I just told you I have a confession to make. Avalon, leave! I tried to talk to my wife, but she wouldn't listen to me. I, I understand. You really need to let her heal, alright? But you took so long to let the cat out of the bag. I was afraid. I was scared. I didn't want her to lose her trust in me. <sighs> now what I feared the most has caught up with me. Can you imagine? She thinks I'm having an affair with you. <laughs> Wait, this is ridiculous. I should think about that. She wouldn't even let me explain myself. The moment the message popped up, the tiger in her came out. Oh. She even asked me to leave her father's house. Oh. Boss, it's okay, all right? You need to calm down, okay? Just need to relax yourself at this moment. Soon everything will fall into place. Listen to me. I need Vicentia out of my life. You need to help me. I know. I'm trying my best. I'm doing so. Boss, you need to relax. You're tensed. You're tensed already. And I need to. I need to rest. Where is daddy?
I, I can't believe that psycho befriended your wife. Why would you even allow that in the first place? She soaked my wife's heart like a dull purple kerosene. What do I do? I can't lose my family, you know? Uh, of course not. I thought you said Natasha is doing an underground check on Vicentia. What's the outcome? So Vicentia got mixed up in some pill meal fraud. When it was time for her to face some strong legal charges, someone stepped in. Someone stepped in? Yeah. Any idea who that was? No. Natasha is on it. She's very relentless. Very resilient to ensure that peace returns to my home. I'll get to the root of this matter. Yeah. Natasha is a strong woman. Yeah, she is. I'll go to her. Yeah. To see if there's any help I can render. Brother. I won't be alive and let that bitch of a lady, Vicentia, destroy my best friend's marriage. It will never happen. Thanks, man. I apologize for not letting you in on this a long time ago. My apologies. It's okay, come on. It's okay. Well, Basil, I need all the help I can get now. Please. Trust me, bro. I will do everything. Everything humanly possible. You're not just my friend. You're like a brother to me, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. So, shall we? A drink up. Hey, one single mistake I made. I, now he's ruining my life. Hey, I, one single mistake I made. Now he's ruining. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look who we have here. Court Registrar. Cum Deputy Mistress of Seduction. I beg your pardon. Don't beg because you won't have it. The last time we saw each other, I told you to stay away from Avalon because he's married to my sister. But what did you do? You refused. Now you have succeeded in breaking her home. And you have me to contend with. Listen, okay? I don't have time for troubles. Go and speak to your brother-in-law. He is the one to mend his broken home and not me. Excuse me. Excuse <laughs> You... You just walked out on me? Okay. Eat your food, baby. No, I want to meet my daddy. I already told you that daddy, you know, he traveled. I mm -hmm. want to meet my daddy. Um, hey boy, daddy had to quickly go get something. Yeah. I, I hope you've been a good boy to mommy. Yes. I love you. I love you too. Listen, daddy will be back soon, okay? 
Um, be a good boy, all right? Um, kindly give your mother the phone. I'd like to speak to her. Why did you cut the call? Daddy wants to speak to you. Why did they cut the call? I did not cut the call. It was the network and I'm going to call your dad back. Lying is a sin. Are you fighting with daddy? Will you eat your food? Eat your food. Open your mouth. Ah? Huh? Good. Eat. Bring your hand and eat. Lying is a sin. Like I don't know. And this is so painful. What? I tried to talk to my wife, but she ended the call. Uh, that's not good now. Uh, anyway, I... I have a suggestion. What's that? Maybe... Maybe you should talk to her family. Get to her through her family. Oh no, I'm sorry. I can't do that. Hey, I can't face her father. Hey, come on, bro. You gotta do what you gotta do. You have to do everything within the bracket to get your family back together again. Come on. Why do you choose to be an ingrate? You had the effrontery to cheat on my daughter. And of all the people in the whole world, you chose your office secretary. What a shame. Sir, I have nothing to do with Tasha. You lie. Emelda confirmed to me that she has seen both of you together on several locations. Do you know that that can tarnish our political image and also cause you to lose your certificate of practice? Do you know that? Sir, I understand you perfectly well, but honestly, I've not seen anyone. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not seeing Tatcha. I'm not. You want me to believe it because you said so or because it's true? Sir, it's true, sir. I'm going to personally investigate the truth of the matter. A man that cannot control his random emotions cannot be seen in the political corridor. Nonsense. Lois, open the door! Lois! What? What is it? Lois, I need to see my son. How could I have known that I've been married to an irresponsible man? Lois, you don't know that. You won't even let me explain. Give me a fair hearing for oh, crying please. out loud. Just shut up. Keep your legal terms to yourself. You see, my son and I, we do not want to have anything to do with you. You're such an ungrateful human. I still love you. Lois, I love you. There's something wrong with you. Leave this place, Avalon. I apologize, but I don't want to lose you. What's wrong with you? You've lost me already. You have, can't you see it? Avalon, I said, leave here. I'll go in. And when I come out, you're still here. I'll call the police on you. Lois. Lois. Hey, one single mistake I made. Now he's ruining my life. Baby. To see Lois, to see my son, to at least get some clothes to wear. This woman sent me out. She wouldn't listen to me. She asked me to leave. Why? Listen, you should know why, okay? She's still angry. She's still very mad at you. Okay? Just calm down. 
Okay. No, 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 but at least let me see my son. Ah, man. Let me see my son. Let me get something to wear. Okay, you know what's going to happen. Don't worry. I'll do that for you. Okay? I'll do that for you. I'll go to your house and I'll get those clothes for you. Hmm? Don't worry. She's just angry. By the time your wife comes down, she'll need a husband back in one place. I can't wait, bro. I can't. Relax. Brother, relax. I got you, bro. I got you. Ah. <sighs> Please, I need you to take care of him. Take good care of him. <clears throat> I beg you. You know, at a trying time like this, I don't want him to get acquainted with my mood. It's just best I stay alone. It's okay, my darling sis. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Okay? If you need anything, just call me. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. But you see that your husband? Ex-husband. I am going to deal with him. I will make sure he pays. Don't you worry, okay? My love, I need you to be a good boy. Okay. Don't stress your auntie. Okay. And if she tells you to do anything good, please do it. Okay. Make sure you write your assignments. Okay. Sleep. Okay. Play. Okay. And eat well. Okay. I love you. I love you too. I said I love you. I love you. It's okay. That's enough. <sighs> I'll take care of you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. <sighs> it's okay. All right, come on. to be <laughs> you shattered my trust how do I do this how do I continue <laughs> we have a beautiful house we have a good home I try my best to make you feel good <sighs> I mean, this wasn't what you promised I hate to ask you this, but did you know Avalon was having an affair? Uh, uh, no. No, not, not at all. Yeah. 
you see, he didn't tell me about him having an affair. And um, Avalon can be very secretive, he wouldn't tell. Marcel, you know, I, I thought it's been a happy home. We shared so much, we had fun. It really hurts realizing that everything I shared with my husband was a lie. <sighs> okay, um, please come in. Please. Basio, did Avalon tell you how many of his clothes he needed? Not really. But you can just fool a couple of them. <sighs> you know, Basio, you're lucky you came when you did. Because I wanted to burn all his clothes. Like I want to discard everything that reminds me of him. Hey, come on. Louise. We shouldn't do that. <sighs> Let me tell you something. Please never, never take actions when anger and emotions are high, okay? You might end up destroying a lot of things and you'll regret it. Come on. You're right. And Basil, you are a good friend. Thank you. Um, I am your friend too. Hmm? Louis. Yeah. Please. If there's anything you want me to do for you, do not hesitate to let me know, okay? You know I'll always be there for you. Hmm? Hmm? I know. And I appreciate you. Thank you. You're welcome.
We need to talk. Avalon, I'm walking. There's nothing to talk about. Listen, you clearly have no idea what's happening. I said I am walking. We can't talk. You have no idea what's going on. I understand you're upset with me. You're very angry. And I apologize for what I have done or what you think I have done. But please, I need to bring you up to speed. I need to tell you What's really going on? Avalon, I said I am walking. If you really want to speak to me, come by the house tomorrow. Then we'll talk. All right, that's fine. I promise to come by the house tomorrow. But please, I am sorry, I apologize. Okay? Besides, I promise to fix this. I promise not to give up on our love. I love you. I miss you. Mm. Your distance, please. Please go straight home when you close from work. I want the best crime scene investigation team over here. Take her phone for forensics. I want to know where she has been to. Who she has been talking to. We have to catch that bastard that did this to one of us. I don't want to see anyone until we have suspects. This is an order. Get to work. Yes, boss. What's going on? You haven't heard? Heard about what? Tasha. Tasha is dead. What? Tasha is dead? What happened? How come? I don't know. The office cleaner found her body in the pool of her own blood. And from all indications, she was shot. Wait. 
Natasha was shot and no one heard gunshot sounds and no one heard her scream what the hell are you talking about? I thought about that too we have to leave that to the investigative team they will reveal the secret this is sad I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting, dear friend. Yeah. Yeah, check. Last night was a huge success. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for this as well. You're welcome. <sighs> I've been meaning to ask you. Okay. What's going on between you and the father of your child? I'll be surprised if you do not ask up till now. Well, when someone tells you I do not have any other option, it simply means that whatever decision they take afterwards is emotion driven. What are you trying to see? Well, he's having a second thought about leaving her. And I'd have to give him an incentive to leave her. Moreover, he does not love her anymore. An incentive? You really know it's wrong to sleep with a married man, right? Do not pry. My friend, I am sorry. I am so, so sorry. It's just that you're hurting someone you don't even know. She'll get over it. Get over it. Oh. You know. I know he wants to be with me. What's really going on? What's really going on? Does, does she even know you? Not yet. And don't you think she'll be devastated to find out that the husband is having an affair? That's not my problem. We're meant to be together. And I'm sure she thought so too. That they were meant to be together. Well. I can't help it if he does not love her anymore. Don't you think it's heartbreaking for a woman to hear that the husband does not love her anymore? Not to talk more of him sleeping with somebody else. He'll be happier with me, especially when the baby comes. Really? Well, I am caught. I am really grateful for everything you've done for me. But I must tell you the truth. Right now, you sound pathetically callous. Please, I need to go. Sorry, please. Lies. Yes? I'd love to give you a little souvenir before you go. One minute. This is absolutely preposterous. I never believed that that boy can be this heartless. Father, I wonder how you got brainwashed in the first place to have trusted him. 
Can you imagine the magnanimity of such a horrendous crime? The moment he found out that I am aware of his relationship with his secretary, he went ahead and murdered her. What do you expect, father? It's so glaring that his relationship with her is repugnant to a moral value of a legal advisor and would affect his image as a deputy district attorney. So he chose to take her life, so his evil tracks will be clean. Well, sin begets sin, and the wages of sin is death. I will prepare a litigation of numerous count charges that the only competent measure of fairness is dead. This will take effect immediately, Father. I hope so. What is this? Printed photographs. Part of my collection during our reunion. One that I have never shared with anyone. So why give it to me? Because I think that you may be just the right person for it. Jesus Christ! What? You don't like it? Do not call the name of your Lord God in vain. No, 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 no. You lying demon! If you weren't pregnant, what I would have done to you, you wouldn't believe it. Please come back. <laughs> okay. 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 I might just be one step close to the end bit. <laughs> I really want to find out the truth. What is your involvement in all this? Why did you kill Tasha? Sir, before God and before man, I have nothing to do with this. I didn't kill Tasha. Just like you killed her and concealed it, I can kill you right here and now and frame your death if you don't tell me the truth. But sir, I'm saying the truth. Why would I kill Tasha? I can't do that. Everything you are doing is to make me to trust you so that you will dupe me and get a huge amount of money and elope with her leaving my dear daughter. When you noticed I have found out you connived and killed her, I have evidence against you. Sir, before God and before man, I have nothing to do with this. God in heaven knows I am innocent. What we say in God's name, I am not asking you if you did. What I am simply asking is why you did. I have an evidence against you. Don't take laws into your hands. Allow the government investigate this matter and give you an answer. I would rather have my daughter widowed than have a man like you. Time will heal her faster. That's his head. Oh, that is rather timely. Please, let me have a tete a tete with him.
Good to sir. Yeah, I see that. Thank you, sir. Yeah. It might interest you to know that I am interested in Tasha's death case. My prime suspect happens to be your best friend, Avalon. Do you have something to tell me? Sir, you know I am an ostentatious person. I like keeping to myself. And your friend, Avalon? He's a braggart anyway, but he also likes keeping to himself. What is his relationship with Tasha like? Um, it was cordial. Yes, uh, not until he announced to me that you appointed him your senior special assistant on political matters. Then I started noticing something fishy. But unfortunately, I couldn't get hold of anything tangible. Before I heard, Tacha went missing. Then eventually, it was announced that she was dead. But do you really think Avalon killed Tasha. Play dead. Daddy, let's bring in scheme number two. What's the meaning of this? That's the, the woman that Avalon has been cheating on me with. Right under my nose. <sighs> 
What? Avalon sleeping with Vicentia? And she's. she's carrying his baby. Oh no! No! You don't deserve this! Oh my god. No, you don't deserve this. I never knew it this, Randy. First he was sleeping with Natasha. And now Vicentia? How could he be such an ingrate? Natasha, you are such an ingrate. How? I don't get it. How? How did I not know that I was living in the same house with a snake? Damn. I'm good. I'm good. I, I wonder how we didn't beat the hell out of her before you left her house. That is the problem. You see, that is the problem. I, I, I think that is even why I'm like this. Basile took every fiber in me not to claw her face off. Tell me, how, how am I supposed to beat a pregnant woman? How am I supposed to do that? It's okay. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. No, please, leave it. Take it easy. Just, just calm down. Okay. It's a male that we all face. That's another issue. I wished Imelda was there with me in her house. Maybe that's part of the problem. I don't even know why I'm feeling like this. If Imelda was there, I knew Imelda would have beaten her half dead. Um, but I'm still so pissed. <laughs> I trust Imelda to have done that. She has to be aware of what's happening. Yes. She really needs to. Oh, Basil. Have I not been nice? I've been living with Avalon for how many years now? I'm a good wife. Of course you are. I try my best not to cheat. Well, of course we all can attest to that. I tell him. People I meet. I tell him my frustrations. It's okay. It's okay. Calm oh down. God! It's okay. No. It's okay. You just have to relax, okay? Uh, I am here to take care of you now, okay? Uh, it's no! Okay. It's okay. Oh God! It's okay. Avalon Walker. How are you, Mr. Convict? To what do I owe this surprise visit? I'm very sure you know why I'm here, Mr. Smith Otumba. Why not say it yourself? I want to hear those words from your small trifling mouth. Mr. Smith Otumba, what are you doing with Vicentia Okunzua? <laughs> when a man is jailed for life, it will be a double jeopardy to convict him again while he's still serving life imprisonment. I love my abode of asylum. I don't need your trial again. Mr. Otumba, you need to stop bullshitting me. 
and tell me what I need to hear. Else, I'll bury you underneath this prison. Now tell me what I need to hear. What are you doing with Vicentia Okunzua? I built this prison as a development gift to the federal government of this country. And you, under the umbrella of the law, locked me in this same prison. Now you want to get to the corridor of power. You took my life, Avalon. Now, how does it feel when everything you've ever cared for is gone? Now, get the hell out of my house! you found yourself right now? Drink. Uh. Uh. Oh, please. This is no longer necessary. I need to play everywhere. My little baby will be coming back home soon. I don't want him to see me like this. I need to freshen up and probably also tell him what has been happening, you know. Hey, come on. Come on, Lois. Mm -hmm. This is not about your baby. Okay. This is about you. Mm -hmm. Like you don't need to get ready before you do anything. You mm -hmm. feel like doing, okay? You should concentrate on yourself right now. Okay. Yeah. So drink up. At a time like this, this is exactly what you need. Okay? Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. No, um. Basil, I appreciate that you've actually been a good friend. Although, all this is technically your fault. Because you introduced me to. That fool I call a husband. Avalon! Oh, yeah. Blame it on me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I accept all the blames. Everything. But you know the good thing about all this? Mm -mm. I am here now, sitting beside you. Okay. So that means. If there is anything you want me to do for you, anything at all, huh? Do not hesitate to let me know, okay? I'll do it, anything. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Basil, 
I know that you're a good person. And I appreciate you, okay? Yes. Mm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Come down. I'm here for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Just relax. 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 Relax, okay? Uh, do you mind if I spend the night? You don't need to be alone in times like this. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, best myself. Huh? Huh? Best self. Yeah. I I don't I really don't think that's necessary. Oh, you I think can so? yes, I can take care of myself. No, baby, and no, no. Stop, no, Basil, okay. please, please. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Stop 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 I don't want Stop you to. Me. <laughs> Basil. Me. Basil, what? please, this is not the one I agreed on. You, you are little friend. You're ah, ah, ah. Babe! Go ahead. Hey! Yes! Are you okay? Did he hurt you? It's me! I know. Did he hurt you? No, it's huh? <sighs> Son of a bitch! Avalon, be here in the morning by 9 a.m. Yes, we are opening an 
investigation into your prosecution of um, Max Smith, Otomba, due to your relationship with his fiancée, Vincentia Bokozua. Do not be late. Okay. Star is always a step ahead of you.
Well, Max Smith wants details of how you overturn his conviction before he authorized me to wire you the money. Oh my God. How many times are we going to go through this? We've been through this before. Anyway, they have proof both of you are sleeping together. Yes. And by the time the district attorney realizes that uh, Avalon has taken your name off the target list, the conviction will be overturned. You're not stupid after all. Of course you know Dad will be investigated. And they will find out that Avalon was not the one who removed my name. So what next? Uh, you dropped your gun. Drop it now else I'll kill her. No, you're not going to do that. Drop it! No, no, please, please, please. All right, fine. I'll drop it. But you don't touch my wife. Gently. Yeah. There you go. There you go. I beg you in the name of God, don't hurt my wife. Please, let her go. She has nothing to do with this. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, let me tell you something. You are not in the position to tell me what to do. Okay? Basil, please bro. You're my brother. You're my friend. Don't do this. Let's settle this peacefully, amicably. You don't have to work with Mark Smith or Tumba. I can help you. All right? Stop. Don't do this, please. Let's sort this out once and for all. Please. <laughs> Ah, oh, Mr. Avalon, you're so funny. Did I hear you call me friend or brother or what? Talk it! I am not your brother, okay? Now you listen to me. You are no longer in the position to tell me what to do, okay? I need to be promoted. Yes, I need it. So I gave Mark Smith Otumba an offer I couldn't refuse. I am tired of playing second fiddle! To you! You hear me? Basil. You? I trusted you, bro. How could you? How could you betray me? My friend? My brother? Jealous of me? I can't believe this. So this is what this has been about. How long have you been doing this? Hey! What did you find out? Our crime scene investigation team is actually the best. The forensic shows that Apollon murdered Tasha. Yes, even from her court records, he's been the one communicating her over a clandestine investigation of Max Smith Otumba. But we are here to find out why. So Avalon connived with his girlfriend 
and they are both secretly investigating an already convicted man? Oh, they want to flop all my attempts to seek amnesty for my friend. Sir, I think Avalon is caught up also in a case of double alienation of affection, which involves the late Tasha and one Miss Vincentia Okozua, one of Max Mead's ally and girlfriend. And that brought about the breakup between him and his wife, your heartbroken daughter. What do we do now? I've not seen my daughter yet. That bastard is already fleeing. So we'll find him and turn him in. Please do. When we started building up a case against Mark Smith Hutumba, I came across Vistrachel's name on the list of his girlfriends and crew members. She was running those pill operations and got busted. One thing I found out was she was your ex-girlfriend. And at that point, I said to myself, she will be the right person that I can use to set you up. You rip, shit bastard. I've been dining with the devil without a long spoon. I got everything set up with Otumba for a small fee. <clears throat> oh, I'll set him up. Get him implicated. I will use him against himself. So people will think he got you jailed in order to distract the feds from his immoral lifestyle. Master plan. Listen. Now I want you to involve Vicentia in the plan. She was his ex. She will be of great help. She knows what to do. No problem at all. We'll work hand in hand. Great. Hmm. As soon as he's convicted, and I am out of here, I'm going to pay you your 10 million naira balance. Okay? Once it's time for the clerical judicial review, you let me know so I can call Justice Adesanya to work on that effect. Okay. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> whatever I do, I should rope her valor in, right? Great. Deal. I'll do it. <laughs> okay. As you are standing there, even if I don't kill you, you are going to jail. For all the crimes that I've roped you into have committed. Mm -hmm. right there. Come on, oh, I'm yes. not joking. Like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking about babies, tell me about your unborn child. You were gullible. I mean, you always have been. I slipped a drug into your drink when you went to answer your wife's call. 
You blanked out the moment I got you into my hotel room. Take his call. Take your time. Sorry. Sorry. Vin, there was no baby after all. You're very stupid. You are extremely stupid to think that I will bring myself low to your standard anymore. Cause you no longer my taste. So let's talk about Natasha. Why did you kill her? You've got yourself to blame for that, brother. <laughs> now you stay put. While I free you with small revelations. I never pictured it this way. Stick to the plans. No distractions. No distractions, yes. Uh, you monitor Lois while I monitor Avlon. Avlon is the target. Avlon is the target. So what next? It is time you tell him you're pregnant. The result of the one night stand after the reunion is pregnancy. Right. She was at the bank to get documents that she needs to run a check on DCC Enterprises. Eventually, she got the documents. You all know that that is all she needs to trace the origin of the account.
if she gets all the information she needs, she can trace me and that of Maxmi Totumba, which will not end well. She's got all she needs to talk to the feds. We've got all we need to silence her. Just leave that to me, okay? Remember, the more of what we do, the more of Avalon we rub in. I promise you, this assignment will not go down well without Avalon going down with it. That's a promise. So what do you want me to do? You're welcome. Ah, uh, the other time I promised you a birthday gift, huh? Uh, sorry it's coming late anyway. This is it. Better late than never. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I hope you like it. Yeah, thank you. It's beautiful. You're welcome. When she tied Vicentia and Mark Smith to the same crime, in no time she'll come looking for me. Yes. You know what I'm talking about, you understand? You killed her. Basil, what the hell are you talking about? I took your skin from when I scratched you and placed it underneath her fingernails. The car. Ah! Get out! Get out of my car! Ow! What the hell is wrong with you? Avalon, you made this violent move first. I promise you, you will regret it. is a witch. Jesus. So, the forensic would dictate you Vengeance is better saved cold. Your DNA is all over her. Her mother is pinned on you. <laughs> then, our attorney and legal genius will not be convicted for murder. Alright guys, listen, I accept, okay? I accept, I'm the new convict now, okay? But I must tell you the truth, she has nothing to do with it. Let my wife go! 
Please! No. Why should I? No, go ahead, tell me. Give me one reason. Why should I? You knew her through me, remember? Back in our university days. She couldn't date me because you always outsmarted me. But now, the story is different. You stand there and watch me bang the hell out of her. You watch me. You are under arrest for drug, conspiracy, and abetting of crime. You have the right to remain silent for whatever you say now or do will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney, but if you don't have, the state will provide you with one. Or I move it. Move. I say move. Move! Come on, move! <laughs> oh. Yeah, listen to me, okay? You, you are a legal humanary. Yes, you wouldn't want to soil your hands with blood. You don't have the guts to kill me, do you? Basil, tell me why I should shoot you. Of course, you'll be jailed for double murder. You lie, Basil. Oh. Hey. Sing me well to the devil. <gasps> for everything. It was all my fault. Please. I shouldn't have. No, 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 no. There's no need to lay blames on anyone, okay? I love you. I love you too. Wait. Uh, where is Vicentia? Baby, we need to just pack Hey, up baby, everything. it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Listen, it's okay. You don't have to worry. Okay. She's not going far. Did you hear that? Uh, yes, I'm in trouble. Baby, I'm what? in trouble. The, no, 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 no. It, no, no, it's okay, baby. Listen, it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Mm. You're safe. You're in safe hands. It's all right. I called them before coming. Yes, I told them, and all the confession, everything said here, is live streamed. See, I'm live on Facebook. We have evidence to nail these bastards. Okay. Oh, baby, thank you. So much. I love you. I love you so so much. I love you more. And I apologize for everything. I'm sorry too. I am sorry. I didn't know how how. Okay. Okay. It's okay, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you, baby. I love you too. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. I never knew that you are such a unique person. 
Governor, you've not only proven to be a good man, but also a patient man who never reacted towards our wrong assertion of you. My daughter Lois made the right choice choosing you as her husband. And I also made the right choice choosing you as my SSA on political and legal matters. Your triumph today is a new phase in your life. What a justice of peace you are. Taking your ground to testify against Vincent Shea today who perpetuated the plot to overturn Max Smith Otumba's conviction shows how his train of bandits are and they are not to be allowed to roam the street. Uh, who would believe that Basile, the gentle Basile, could hurt a fly, let alone kill Tasha? Time to prepare for our political strategy. This is the right time to move. Um, I must thank everyone for your kind words. But I'm no longer interested in politics. Why? Daddy trusts you even more now. You see, when you are faced with the challenges of life, it's only important to realize that family comes first. Family comes first. But politics has been part of your dreams. True. You'd hear from me soon, but for now, my family is more important. My dear daughter Lois, what do you have to say about this? <clears throat> I, am, I am happy that we are all okay. Everything has been sorted. And uh, Vicentia is out of our lives. But she really needs to pay for all the harm she's caused. And... Um, Wherever my husband stands, there I stand. Dad, you have to leave. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah. I'll be seeing you. Okay, I'll be seeing From far away, far away. I, no, I don't know. It's coming from someone close to me. Close to me. In, this life, in this life, trust nobody. Trust so nobody. many enemies in disguise. All they want is to pull you down. To pull you down. In this life, trust nobody. So many enemies in the skies All they want is to pull you down They are friendly enemies Yeah I was thinking the enemy 
always find a way, find a way. But I don't know you someone close to.